Okay, in this project, uh, if you like to build toy cars and so forth, and you need some axle pins, I know you can buy these. But supposing, uh, you know, it's late at night, or you're out in the boondocks, and you don't want to wait for mail order, or you may be entered in a 2x4 contest, where all the parts have to be made out of a 2x4. Now, I'm sure everybody's seen the uh, making the dolls. I'm going to start with one already made, but this procedure here can be used to actually make the dowel. But I'm going to use a 3 8 dowel to make this pin. And... Uh, Whatever your reasons for wanting to make them yourself, here's a good tip how to do it. Now I'm not going to cover the, uh, if you have a CNC, the only difference is on this back piece here, the router will be coming in from the top. So you can lower your bit down into this jig and uh, put your dowel in a drill and spin it around and make them the same way. But I'm going to show you on the router table how to do it. Okay, I'll cut a piece here about six inches long. Just scrap wood, three quarter by uh, two inches. Cut two more, two and a half inches. Size is not critical. Next I'll uh, remove the burrs and then I'll glue these up like so, leaving a gap in the middle. Alright, now this, uh, with the drill in on its side, uh, inch and an eighth. So I'm going to mark this uh, I'll make it an inch and three-eighths up or an inch and a quarter okay I'll drill a three-eighths hole through here and then I cut a piece of plywood and this will uh, set in the back here as a backer and a stop so that when I push the doll through I'll get a consistent length Okay, now I've got the jig set up here on the router table. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I added another quarter inch piece here on each side. 
and then this backer piece. The reason for the notch is to allow the uh, vacuum hose to suck the chips out. But when the dowel goes in, it's going to hit the back of that. Thus giving you a limit. So now we'll go ahead and we'll cut one. And I've got the uh, dowel in my drill. And we'll go ahead and give it a try. And here's the result. Now I'll go ahead and we'll measure that. Get my caliper here. And I've got about 230. And we'll try the wheel. Wheel goes on there. It's a little snug. It's got a nice shoulder on it. And then we'll uh, take it over on the bandsaw and we'll cut that off. Okay, now I cut it off. I just leave the dowel in the drill and just cut it off with the bandsaw. And uh, I'll put it in the wheel. And there you go. There's the axle pin. Now I'll go ahead and we'll cut us another one. Wheel turns nice and free. So I raise it up just a hair. And then we'll uh, cut that off on the bandsaw. And there's another pin. Okay, now we can go with another one. Alright, now when you're retracting this, when it's in there, you want to kind of pull up on it a little bit as you're removing it. Because when it gets to this point here, it'll, it'll slip down and chew up the end of it. So when you pull it out, kind of lift up on it. And then remove it. 
and then we'll cut that one there off on the bandsaw and we'll do some more. Okay now here's a shot of the bandsaw and uh, I've got it in the drill. I just take it and cut it off. Now I can always go back and I trim these to the proper length later on. And then we'll just sand, put a little chamfer around the edge. And there's your axle pins. Alright, here's some uh, pins I made up. Uh, now the next step I'll do is I'll take this over to the belt sander and I'll... Uh, Sand these down a little bit, put a little chamfer around there, and uh, then they'll be good to go. Okay, now we'll clean these up a little bit here on the belt sander. <laughs> Axle pins. Thank you. I hope you like this and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the old like button there. Thank you.